talk about Cal in that context and uh, and your work with Jared Goff because uh, Jared uh, was just he, under your direction and with Sonny Dykes as head coach, uh, he took it. He took Cal to a, another orbit. <laughs> yeah. and, well, how did that come about in terms of designing the offense around Jared and everything else? Well, he was a dream because of his talent. And, you know, he'd been committed to Cal, wanted to go to Cal. So when we came in, all we had to do was make sure that we didn't lose him. And so I went and watched him play in the state championship game. And I'd seen um, his film, and I thought he was a good player, but I, I didn't think he was great on film. I thought he was good. But when I went and watched him in person, I called Sonny from the game. And I said, this kid is special. I said, this kid is really, really, truly special. And Sonny, after, you know, the first couple of days of practice that we had him, we knew that, you know, that he was a special player. Because there was a lot of kids there that were much more heavily recruited than Jared was um, on there as quarterbacks at the time. Um, but to me, the first couple of days that we were out, especially when we went live, Jared was so good in the pocket. Um, he was so well coached in high school. Um, his high school coach, Coach Moz, did a phenomenal job. All the high school coaches that worked with him did an incredible job. And then the main thing with, with Jared was us just getting to where that we could protect him. Uh, and so that was a development um, that took us, you know, a, a full year. The first year we were just okay, slightly below average. We were like a top 30 offense, but we weren't. We really weren't. I mean, it looked like we were numbers-wise, but we weren't. Uh, we weren't scoring points the way that we needed to. But the last two years, we were damn good. I mean, we were scoring close to 40 points a game, uh, you know, 500 yards plus a game. We were we were a really good offense, and we had really good receivers. Um, we had a, a good offensive lineman that played hard, um, and we had really good camaraderie on our staff. And Jared, you know, the, the thing that Jared doesn't get enough credit for is Jared is one tough sucker. I mean, he was tough at Cal. He took beating after beating after beating, uh, never complained, never griped, competed, played, and led. And you think about this, back when he hurt his thumb a few weeks ago, is that he pulls his thumb back himself from dislocation, stays in and plays the rest of the game. I don't know of another quarterback ever <laughs> that's ever done that. But where you get your throwing hand, thumb dislocated, pull it back into place that requires surgery and pins the next day and you go back in and play. And so I've been really disappointed uh, personally, you know, with, um, with uh, the Rams, uh, with how they've handled uh, the last uh, few weeks of, of him and, um, and not standing up and saying, he's our guy. You know, did he, did he have a great year? No, he didn't have a great year. Uh, but he had a better year than what they said. And the number one thing for quarterbacks in the long run that everybody looks at over a long period of time is winning. He's the second winningest quarterback in the NFL in the last four years. He's won more games than everybody except one other QB. So with that being said, um, that kid is a great football player. And you just have to do what he can do. And, you know, the fact that the offense with the Rams – um, you know, is all based of all play action. Most of it's based of all play action, which is not what he would have went there and said that's his strong suit. You know, he was like Aaron Rodgers is now, which Aaron Rodgers is in the gun most of the time, uh, especially for most of the throws. He does some under the center stuff. But, you know, the Rams are doing what they think they have to do to win. And obviously McVay is one of the best coaches in, uh, in the NFL, and they've done a really good job. Uh, but I get a little tender when I hear the criticism because whenever they have success, it's always, it, well, it's the system. And it's McVeigh's system that's making Jared successful, and that's complete and utter bullshit. Uh, Jared is a really good football player um, that can do lots of good things. Uh, is he the best to ever play? No. Uh, is he the best in the NFL right now? No. Is he a top 10 quarterback? Absolutely. Can he win games and win Super Bowls? Absolutely. And uh, so uh, I just hope they keep getting better. <laughs>